All right, and welcome back, everybody. Um, today we are back to our hi. We're back to our our usual of uh, baking something. We're going to make marshmallows. She's into Christmas again lately. We watched Pluto's Christmas tree like four or five times this morning. Um, and she's been seeing Deck the Halls for the last few days. So, anywho, we are making marshmallows. Uh, it's got a few things that I'm not comfortable with. Uh, the first being uh, cooking sugar, boiling sugar. Um, I've only done it once and I don't remember when it came out. And the other thing we're using is gelatin. Um, so, I have gelatin. I never use it, so I assumed I had enough. And I did not. So we're cutting this recipe in half. Um, we're gonna get started with the. Uh, we have some sugar, and and I think I have. I think I accounted for halving everything. So, all right, let's move that out of the way. That has the gelatin powder. We'll do that next. Um, so this has uh, some sugar in it, and this is some um, just water, and we're gonna add two tablespoons instead of a quarter cup of corn syrup. And I can use my candy thermometer for the first time. All right, so we're just gonna swirl this together and then put it on the stove for a while. Can I try it? No. Can I mix it? Oh, you wanna mix it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I thought you wanted to eat it. Maybe. We had, a, we had a, a rough start getting to the, well, not a rough start, not in a bad way. So I was getting out the stand mixer and I realized the bowl's not there because it's in the refrigerator because I had a, a batch of English muffins going. So we decided to roll and shape our English muffins. So now they're rising over there while we're doing this and that's how I have my stand mixer bowl. Long story short, we were supposed to start an hour ago. All right, so that's going on medium high heat. Uh, it's gonna come to a boil, then I'm gonna cover it for two minutes, and then I'm gonna put my candy thermometer in there. And while all that is going, we have um, some gelatin powder and some water, and we're just gonna add that, swirl it up, and that's going to bloom. And then we really just mix them together with the whisk attachment on the stand mixer for like 10 minutes. And no. yes. <laughs> And then we're gonna we're gonna prepare our pan, and we're just gonna let it set for six hours to overnight. So I think we're just gonna do overnight because it's almost noon now. Um, noon? Is it so noon? It's almost noon. All right. So I'm just gonna put that aside. How was your week? Good. Yeah. yeah. What did we do this week? Can you tell me? So we almost didn't go to Disney Springs. Um, Monday morning comes, I'm always excited because I know, you know, we're gonna go to Disney Springs for a little while. And Evelyn and David come in and I'm like, oh, are you, are you ready to go? We'll start getting ready. And David's got a look on his face like, so she says she didn't wanna go. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, normally I would just say, we'll, we'll do something else, we'll go to a nature park because I've been wanting to go back to the Oakland Nature Preserve, but they were having a really good sale until March 2nd for annual pass holders and DVC members of 30% off. So I had made a list of all these things that I'd been seeing the last few weeks that I wanted to get. Um, one of them being a new pillow that's upstairs in our guest room. That's really nice, sitting in our new chair. Um, I got this bow. Um, and Dad is I think there was one other thing. I can't remember offhand, but so I told David, you know, that's fine. Uh, maybe I could run there really quick and he could watch her, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of us trading off watching her. Um, so then she suddenly changed her mind and she wanted to go. So why don't we go to the Pajaro's Nature Park and then go when we wake up? Yeah, we can do that. We can go to the Nature Park this Monday if you want, instead of Disney Springs. Yeah, and when we wake up, we will, on Monday morning, it'll go to Disney Springs after the nature park. Oh, 
we can't do two things in one day. Ooh. So that came to a boil quicker than I thought. All right, let's get our stand mixer ready. Um, because obviously that's going to be really hot. I'm going to ask her to step down while I pour it in. Um, oh no. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't splatter on me. Hopefully. And that's why I want you to... Is this a tattoo? Is this a tattoo? It is a tattoo. And are these tattoos? Yeah. Is it all of them tattoos? Yeah, kind of. Alright, it's about 2.20. Might have time for a venting, ranting session about Sears. They're horrible. Don't ever buy anything big from them. Not an appliance, not a mattress, nothing that you would ever, ever need to deal with a warranty for them. Why? We had so much trouble with them. We bought our mattress from them uh, when we moved down here, so just about four years, just over four years ago. and. Late last summer, David was waking up with back pain, like horrible night's sleep. And then one day I was making the bed and I was on his side and I noticed that his side of the mattress was just completely like bowed out. Um, and we'd also noticed, you know, a little wave in it. So, I mean, he's, he's a very deep sleeper usually. So like he doesn't move. So I'm like, all right, well, what are we going to do? And then I, so I saw the mattress bowed out and I, you know, hopped on his side of the bed and it like made this weird like creaking and something was broken in there and um so we're like well let, we have the mattress and it's got a warranty so let's see if we can do something through there and it took us like a week or two just to find out where we should call um we kept getting you know passed around between sears and the actual store we bought it from at the Florida mall. Um, so we finally got in touch with somebody and they're like, okay, well, we're going to send you this form you need to fill out. And they sent it right away. And it had all of these, um, it had a checklist with all these measurements we needed to do and pictures we needed to take. And it was very, uh, you know, it was very intensive. So we're like, okay, you know, it's kind of annoying, but they, there's a process for this. That's great. So we did all that. We sent everything. And then we didn't hear anything for a couple of weeks. So we called and of course the people that you get on the phone aren't the people who are dealing with the warranty or they're not reviewing it. So all they can do is put in a note that we called and to request someone to call us back. So a couple of days later, we get an email back asking for more pictures. We're like, all right, well, we thought we did it right. So we did it again, the ones they specifically asked for. So we sent those over and again, nothing for a couple of weeks. So we call them and then they email us back. They're like, well, we need these photos. And we're like, we sent those in the original email. Like they were the ones that they didn't ask for last time. So they're obviously not going back and looking through emails. And then again, they're not responding. I don't even know how to make this story short. Finally, they asked for more pictures again. This was in January. This had been going on for like four months already. And they, we, we wound up sending them just every one of the original pictures we took. We weren't taking any new ones. And again, nobody contacted us. David called and he doesn't lose his cool. He's, he's very relaxed usually. Um, and he didn't yell or anything, but it was losing his cool for him. And so the person's like, well, I can, you know, make a formal complaint on your behalf. And I'm like, I guess. And then a couple of days later, they approved it. Like the full price of our mattress, our four year old mattress, which was great. So they told us to pick out the one we want, but don't buy it online or in the store. We have to go to the warranty people. So we went to the mall, tried out a few mattresses, picked one, emailed them back with a, a screenshot from the website because it was on sale and the exact price. So close. Uh, again, nobody <laughs> contacted us. So another week goes by and he calls and he's like, you know, did you get it? And they're like, oh yeah, it's uh, nobody, nobody processed it yet. I'll take care of it now. So they did. We were supposed to get it sometime in February and then we, we got a date. Nobody called us with a window the day before. So I knew something was up. We get an email the next morning thanking us for rescheduling. 
So David called them like, oh, we're just having, we're having trouble get it from the, the, the manufacturer, the distributor or whatever. So now it's going to come on March 1st. Like, all right, whatever. They're just going to keep pushing it out, but whatever. March 1st comes, we actually get a time window and I'm like, okay, great. And then the time window comes and the guy is like, all right, I'll be there in a half hour. I'm like, great. So then he calls about a half hour later and he's like, what's the gate code? And we're like, we don't live in a gated community. Where are you? And he's like, oh, I'm at such and such address, which is our old address. Mind you, whenever we called the warranty people, we were identified by our address. We updated our address and they asked for our address every single time. So we didn't think that we needed to double check. I don't know. All right, I'll finish that story in a second. I have to figure out how to put this on. Oh, that works. <laughs> there we go. So, um, we have to wait for the bubbles to subside, but I am gonna tip this camera so you can see what it looks like right now. I'm gonna pour this in now. All right, um, I'm gonna bump this up to medium for like five minutes and we'll, we'll take a peek on it. So I'm gonna let you peek what it's looking like at the moment. At the end of this few minutes, it'll be uh, it'll be white and a little fluffy. And then we'll turn the speed up to high for like another three to five minutes, and it should increase in size by about three times. And then we can put it in the pan. So I'm gonna start preparing that right now. All right. So this is after the the first five minutes on medium. So it did turn white. That's exciting. Um, now I'm going to turn it on high and good. That's still hot. They said if it cools down, stop mixing it because you'll get tough marshmallows. Okay. It's really cool looking. There we go. Right. So what we're going to do is because these are vanilla flavored. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla and whisk it again for another minute or so. Here we go. This looks pretty cool. Can I take the batter? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I guess we can. Oh, also, hold that thought. We had to put a uh, shortening or whatever you're using um, to line the pan on all of your uh, utensils and cutting things. So I've got my spatula covered in uh, shortening also. Oh my gosh, it's sticking so much in here. I can't even oh, scrape this out. Oh, it's boom, boom, Wow. This is pretty interesting. Okay, and better than uh, I was expecting for my first time doing this. Oh man, that's so sticky. <laughs> so to finish up the tear story, um, David was on the phone that night after, uh, you know, they went to the wrong address. Um, I go, we can change your address, but we can't change the zip code. And it comes, and we have to do that because it comes from a different warehouse when you change the zip code. And I'm like, we are literally the next zip code over. It's one number different. We're 15 minutes away. Can so they're I like, spread it out, please? So, um, we changed our delivery date to this past Friday, yesterday. Um, they, they said the address was, they were going to try their best to change the address. And then we got a confirmation email that we had our delivery scheduled still for Friday, but there was no address in there. So we were waiting until uh, maybe, because it was like right after. So we were waiting a few days. So we waited until Wednesday. And again, our address was wrong. And the guy went in to fix it. And he's like, oh, I usually take 72 hours. So I don't know. But as of now, you're still scheduled. Yesterday comes. We get our time window. And the guy calls. And he's like, we're outside. And David was out for a walk with her at that time. So he, he didn't know. And he's like, what address are you at? I'm like, oh, we're at a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's not right. So then their supervisor called 
and they would explain to them what's been going on. He's like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, we just, we get the address, you know, and it's like a shared delivery system because they answered the phone at, at Costco. Then Dave was like, well, I'm going to call back the warranty people because there's some glitch in between their systems. Um, so we called and the guy's like, uh, okay, I think I can handle this. And we're like, well, we're not getting our hopes up here. So... I don't know, we said he changed our address. He even scheduled our new delivery date for Tuesday with a time window already. So we'll see. That's my story, Sears. Boo. Can I keep this? Uh, sure. You are already, so go for it. The last, oh my gosh, I'm so sticky. The last thing we're going to do is put some confectioner sugar over the top here and then just let it set. <laughs> for at least six hours. And uh, like I said, we'll just come back tomorrow, I think, and do this to give it maximum setting time. And do not put it in the refrigerator because it will get hard. We'll, we'll pop it out tomorrow, slice it up, and plunk it in some hot chocolate. One more note before I go, in case I forget to tell you tomorrow. As you know, as everybody has been going through, work has been, has been rough. So I have officially reduced my workload at work, uh, reduced pay and, and PTO as well, but I, I think I'll gain strides in my mental stability. I won't have to work every night, probably just one night a week. Um, so I reduced my, my hours to 80% um, until she goes back to school. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I, I think it's going to be fine. I'm looking forward to it. How about that's enough water? How about that's enough water? All right, let's clean up this mess and have some lunch. Oh my gosh, we've been recording for 46 minutes. Hopefully, you're only seeing about 10. All right, we will uh, we'll check in with you tomorrow and we'll see how this comes out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. Yeah. Hello. All right, it is, it's the next day and it's late in the day and we've got sunlight coming in there and I didn't want to set up both cameras and I figured this would be easier for you to see what we're doing anyway. Our marshmallows have set. Is it frozen? It is not frozen. It is just very sticky. Hello. I have a shortening on the knife as well. Can I just do it? Okay. <coughs> Up. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna slide it over here so it's out of baby's way. And I'm ah! <laughs> marshmallows. marshmallows. Oh, they're so fluffy. And I have some more confectioner sugar with some cornstarch. So just to toss it with it, so I'm just gonna kind of fluff it around. And uh, you just need to store these in an airtight container, um, not putting them in the refrigerator. So I'm probably going to, whatever I put them in, I'm going to put the remainder of this stuff in. You want to try one? You don't know. You want to take a bite? Oh, uh, no. No? We're going to make some, David and I are going to make some hot chocolate after she goes to bed. Oh, you have sugar all over your hands. Ooh. That's a marshmallow. Oh my gosh, that's really good. I'm not even a huge mar I'm not even a huge marshmallow fan, but if I had these to eat, you yeah, sure you don't want to take a little bite? They're really good. You should try it, Evan. Yeah. Just a tiny bite. Or a big bite. Or a big yeah, bite. Whatever. I would start with a tiny bite. Yeah. Go for it. Just a tiny, tiny bite. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> just chew it, just chew it. Just chew it, it's just sugar, my love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think these were a success. They weren't, they weren't difficult to make. Um, just, it, it took a little while but each step was really easy. The, the longest was using the stand mixer just because it had to go on its own for so long. 
Um, and then the sugar boiling, which didn't take that long to come to a boil, um, but that was the part I was most nervous about. But it was really, really simple. Um, I think that's going to be it for us for now. David and I will make some hot chocolate a little bit later. And, and I'm sure we will enjoy that. We have some Tim Hortons, courtesy of Erica and Rich. I feel like I thank you guys so much in my videos. So thank you again. Um, and have a wonderful week, everybody. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs>